Bueller, 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 Bueller. Good morning, Northwest. I'm Marilyn. And I'm Aiden. And we'd like to welcome you to Titan Connect. Please stand for the pledge. Put your right hand over your heart and your left hand by your side and say it with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Jessica check. Oh. You may now be seated. Volleyball and baseball tryouts are continuing today and soccer tryouts start today. There is no play practice for this week and there's no robotics tomorrow and there will be more information on Student Square about that. And now the pot uh, now for the positivity project. The positivity project the positivity project's other people mindset includes five elements that are intended to help people understand ways to build positive relationships in their own lives. This week we will focus on what one element of the other people mindset. Identifying and appreciating the good in others. Why it matters. Identifying and appreciating the good in others helps you see the world through a more positive and less threatening lens. If you're constantly seeing the negative traits of people, you're going to think that the world is comprised of bad people, and you're going to operate from a defensive posture. This isn't to say that we should be naive or see the world and its people through rose-colored glasses, but don't assume the worst in people. Remember, a person can demonstrate the other people's mindset every single day. As they go through a day, be sure to look for opportunities where you can identify and appreciate the good in others. And now for Shiloh with the lunch menu. I'm a banana. Um, today's um, lunch will be chicken ACP or um, pizza, ch chicken pizza quesadilla on the main line. And then on the grab and go will be pancake dippers. And then tomorrow's breakfast will be breakfast pizza or blueberry bread. Um, and please start saying your name. It's very um, mandatory that you say your name when you go through the line um, to the cashier. And now for Miss McAdair and Miss Gibson. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday and happy end of the third quarter. Yeah, it's last week, right? Last week, yep. Last and week. to do with that, we're going to be talking about organization and getting ready for your last quarter and making sure that we're doing what we need to do so that we're successful mm -hmm. and we pass our grade level and move on to the next. Yeah, so a reminder, you got to pass three out of four of your core classes to move on to your next grade level. So you want to make sure that you're getting all of those missing assignments in and you're staying on top of things coming into this fourth quarter. Um, eighth grade, this is your last quarter of middle school. So um, we got a lot of fun stuff coming up with high school registration and stuff. So you want to make sure that you're keeping yourself organized, you know, when you have things due, um, and make sure that you're doing them to full completion and best of your ability. Um, one thing that I do to keep myself organized is I am a fanatic about my planner. I write down everything I have to do that day. I make a to-do list because I know if I don't write it down, I don't see it. It's probably not going to get done. Um, and even kids will come ask and ask me to do something, or ask to see me, and I'm like, hold on, I got to write this down, otherwise it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. So if that's how you are like, make sure that your planner is organized. And even if it's not, maybe it's something we should start trying in order to make sure that we get our homework in on time, that we're studying when we need to, and that we're just being organized so we know what our day looks like. And make sure you're utilizing your week at a glance that teachers mm -hmm. are putting up, because um, that is a tool to help you guys. Um, so just we just wanted to say just finish strong. Um, we're here to support you in any way that you need. Um, you know, we're past spring break now at this point, so we're just downhill slide for the rest of the year. So we, we are here to support you with whatever your needs are. Um, also, you may notice that there are new posters around for the March Madness. Good morning, Titan teachers and staff. All of us have arrived on campus. Students are coming to class. <laughs> You may submit your attendance. Thank you. It's riveting. Everyone's here. <laughs> um, 
But, uh, yeah, so just keep an eye out for those March Madness posters. Um, that's going to be for the behaviors and stuff, um, that new challenge that's coming in. Um, and even if your team doesn't necessarily win for the week, there are opportunities to get points with different free throws and stuff like that. So just stay tuned on what that's going to look like and get stoked. And as always, be respectful. Be responsible and be safe. Have a wonderful day.